and we're back. Today we're going to run some electrical power to a mini split I picked up off Amazon. It is this Cooper and Hunter uh, Olivia series. It was like 600 bucks on Amazon. Had some pretty good reviews, so we're going to give it a shot. But I'll save that install of the mini split for a later date. Today we're just going to run some, we're going to try and run some electrical to the location where I'm going to install the mini split. The sub panel, the critical loads panel that the 12,000 XP is powering. I have one side of the sub panel um, de dedicated to single pole breakers. And then the other side of the sub panel I have dedicated to these uh, double pole type breakers. Um, so I'm going to leave one side of the sub panel for these double pole uh, breakers like the pool pump, um, hot water heater, dryer, and then I'm going to leave, I'm going to try and fit all my single poles on the other side. So right now it's kind of full, but I have four, four, I think four 15 amp single poles and I'm just going to use one of these tandems and I'll connect two of those single pole 15 amp breakers to this tandem. It should free up a, a, a slot in the sub panel and then I'll have a spot to slide in this 20 amp breaker for the mini split. And then on top of the sub panel, um, it's just a cap, but they sell these kind of like entrance caps where you could run wire, conduit, fittings attached here. So we're going to put that in here. We'll attach our um, liquid tight. And then this is the what I'm going to use to enter inside the siding of the house to get into the attic to run the uh, Romix. So... Um, it'll make a little bit more sense as I go through the video, but that's the plan for today. And now let's go to the sub panel. All right, this is our critical loads panel with the 12,000 XP powers. I normally have a Klein screwdriver that I use because it's got this little square bit. It works perfect, but I can't find it. It's worst working without it. It's especially if you're doing any type of electrical. And they just they fit these little breakers perfect. All right, let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. All right, so I think what I'll do is take these two or these two 15 amp uh, single poles I'll slide my new 20 amp in here and I'll put the tandem 15 here so do that real fast turn these off Yeah, these flathead screwdrivers, they just don't fit as snug as the Klein does. The Klein's got this perfect little square bit. It's like, it fits perfect. Where? And these should just pop off. I think this way. There's one. All right, so while we got that slot open, I'll just slide this tandem in here. This is live, so I could shut off the power, but. Let 
little bit shorter. Using this screwdriver to really fit that good in there for those tendons. Grab another screwdriver. I went to go grab another screwdriver from the garage, and of course, the circuit that I unplugged is in the garage, so the garage is dark. So I had to go find a screwdriver. Or find a flashlight. Yeah, these things are just terrible. I don't know what it is. Those clients are, they just fit perfect all the time. Both of the screws are tight. Do a little wiggle test, everything works. Everything stays put. So that's the install there. So both of these hots are not going into this one handle. And then we'll flip these on. Should have power. And so now this 15 amp here, we'll take this off. This is our 40 amp for the mini split. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so this is where we're gonna run our power. There's a little cap right up here and that's where we're gonna run our Romex down from here and then bring it in here and then that cap is we're just gonna follow it up and put an LB and then some liquid tight and it'll go into the siding inside the attic and then we'll have to jump in the attic and run some wire <laughs> 